Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show as we start our live coverage of the Slam Dance Film Festival. And I'm thrilled to say that we actually have award winners on our show this morning that I no doubt believe were partying last night celebrating their victory. The team behind Dim the Fluorescence. I have co-writer and the person who did the score, Miles Barstead, director and co-writer Daniel Worth, and producer Josh Claver. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. First off, congratulations. Tell me about this little guy right here on the table. This. Uh, a uh, small, heavy dog is the grand jury prize for narrative feature at Slam Dance. Grand jury prize narrative feature. Yeah. Has that sunk in yet? Not quite. No. Yes, not not yet. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. We slept on it. It would. Yeah. But, in, but we didn't really get a chance to. Well, I, I can't even imagine how gratifying it, it must be to go from just a concept and a discussion among all of you to sitting here and saying, "Hey, we won." Absolutely. Yeah. It's been a long. Long? Very Three long. Three and a half? Four? Four, four years? years. Yeah. Four years. We started yeah. writing it in the summer of 2012. So it was taking us a little while to get here. Um, Hard work pays off then. Is the yeah, yeah. And, and it's also like for me, like I've made shorts before, but this is my first feature, and this is Miles' first feature, and this is Josh's my first feature, feature, yeah. And like we don't have this experience of, of getting into a festival or doing anything like that. So just getting into Slam Dance was such an amazing, amazing, yeah, uh, opportunity, and then to also win the award is very nice. Nice, it'd be very nice. Now I just wanted for people who haven't had a chance to to see the piece yet. Mm -hmm. um, give me a little bit of the plot because I think it's so, it's just something you wouldn't expect. And I have to say, I used to work in like corporate training and things and yeah. you see that like quiet desperation <laughs> in the group. <laughs> and what you all managed to do is just brilliant. So give us just a little overview of the plot. Yeah, so it's kind of yeah. centered around um, a, a okay. struggling actor and playwright who are kind of stuck doing hi. these corporate hi. role I'm playing Renee. Hi, I'm Joe. Yeah, I'm not much else. Oh, so hi. Nice to meet you. And thank you so much. They pour a lot of their uh, time and energy and resources into making those as, as good as possible. And how much did you, I mean, as artists that are obviously breaking into the business and trying to find those outlets, how much when you were writing did you identify with the, I don't care what the venue is, I just need to work and get it out there? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's, a, that's a feeling that we, we've shared for a long time. Yeah, a lot of people have come up to us and, and, and when they heard the premise and said, like, oh, that's my life. And I, <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so but that's sorry. that was, you know, that's a lot of our experience as well is, you know, doing something kind of related to what we want to do, but not really, you know, making a film. Right. And and so we've we've had to find a way to smuggle our interests into whatever work we have. And I think that idea seems to resonate with people maybe more than they would like it to. Well, and I think more than they would like it to. It, you yeah. Know, <laughs> yeah. Hit the nail on the head there because, you know, you see, you know, everyone says, well, if you're a true artist, it doesn't matter the audience, it doesn't matter the venue, you mm -hmm. just want to perform. But I mean, sometimes you're in those situations and you just look around like, really? Is this what I'm doing right now? And to see those actresses who you cast so beautifully give a performance that you would expect to see, you know, on an off Broadway stage or an independent, and you just see these fluorescent lights of this sad conference room and you think like how do they go there and do that in that space uh, it, it was it was incredibly creative yeah I think that's a, a big part of what we hope makes the characters so endearing is that they do they, they do really give completely of themselves in what might seem to be a ridiculous way but but the fact that they're so committed to, to trying to do their best in this ridiculous situation hopefully is uh, compelling and, and, and relatable. Well, I mean, you couldn't take your eyes off it because you were watching these, these beautiful performances by these women, and then you kind of forget who they're performing for. You know exactly. what I mean? You're just, like, yeah. you're just sort of watching, like, oh, this is brilliant. And then you think, oh, I'm in, I'm in a sad office space. <laughs> and, like, you know, and, and to see that must have been a weird way. How did you get them to be able to go there in that space? Well, I guess it's uh, we, we tr tried to always have them play so our two lead actors Claire and Naomi um, I always had them play the characters they were playing in the presentations as well as they personally could as actors so it was never like give a half-hearted you know wacky performance or a bad performance because that's funny it was always like yeah, now you. you're playing you. Yeah. you know Kathy the customer service representative and that's that's what we have to work on making that feel right so um, 
I think that's a part of, of it as well. And we tended to shoot those performance sequences in longer takes, so we actually, you know, um, and I kind of blocked them in a way that felt like it would be right on stage, but also hopefully worked cinematically. Mm -hmm. um, so it was nice for us to actually be able to play them out like a little theatrical performance like in, in every performance. case. Yeah, and not break it all up with you know a lot of coverage or something. I always like to ask the, the filmmakers and the writers behind the scenes, Sla Slam Dance is sort of the independent Sundance. Sundance was the original independent you know, feature, and part of it is to get all of these creative minds together, not just to show their work, but to sort of collaborate and discuss and learn from each other. Do you think when you were writing this sort of subconsciously, it was sort of a, a way of saying, we're all in this too, you know, we all have to be there too? A cry for help? <laughs> I don't, yeah, we definitely didn't write it going like, well, this will be great when we're at Slam Dance. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but we were, certainly were very happy when we found out we would be in Slam Dance, and, and I've never been to the festival, I've never been to Park City, I think mm -hmm. that's true. This is our first time, yeah. It's the very so, first time, yeah. your inaugural trip. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. and um, it was uh, really amazing. I mean, it's such a supportive festival um, um, where everybody where everybody knows your name, but like where everybody <laughs> kind of... Okay, I'm from Boston, I could say there the you entire go. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Um, <laughs> where somebody knows, like, okay. everybody knows your film and knows the characters and they can, they'll ask you questions about very specific moments and all the filmmakers are seeing each other's films and kind of feeling really excited about the possibilities of film it, and you know that everybody came there, it's first features in our category, mm -hmm. it's under a million dollars, so you know all those films were hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's that kind of blood, <laughs> everybody's yeah. kind of got this feeling of like we're alive. We did it. You know, we mm. made a film. We and did it. Not just that you made it, but then you actually then get to show it to people. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Absolutely. Fellow filmmakers, which is yeah. such a nice part of the experience for us. Like we've seen films in the festival that have inspired us. So yeah. that's what's been amazing about the trip. Like for mm. us, is we you know we saw a film like um, Neighborhood Food Drive, which yeah. just mm. blew us away. Well, yeah, we was, were all we were just like our mouths dropped yeah. after our screening, going, "Oh my God, this is such an incredible film!" And then to meet that filmmaker, yeah, um, and it's that amazing. Cast yeah, Jersey is an incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a clip from the um, from Dim the Fluorescence, and I want people to see it because it's just to see these two women. I'm not sure what piece we're going to show, but it was uh, you just sort of can't take your eyes off it in a strange way. You just sort of have to watch these women. I think they did so such a brilliant out. job, right? So <laughs> let's show the clip. This is Dim the Fluorescence. That's so good. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. Um, and just finally, I want to ask. I think a big part of coming to the festival is, like you said, learning from other filmmakers, seeing things, and your your jaw drops, and you're just thrilled to be a part of it. After obviously, you know, mission accomplished here with this piece, what are you leaving with? What sort of inspiration? What's next for you guys? Just the fact that we could do it and we have done it means so much to staying alive at this point. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like the the idea of doing of doing something again doesn't seem. Uh, so impossible anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. For, you know, if you'd asked us four years ago if what we were doing was actually going to be a, a feature film that one person would watch, let alone you know, a, uh, a whole group on their feet awarding you for it, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Own it, like that? Say it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it's really uh, that's that's huge inspiration. So. And I guess the one thing I would add is like. Um, there's still so much to do with this film yeah. that this is also a, such an important step in that and feeling like this film has a future and getting out there. Yes. Right, because you never know. Right, right. <laughs> um, you don't want to just have those five people clapping like in the office um, <laughs> politely. So it's it's in really nice. Drop, gray. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to start with this and then you know feel like okay, there are people out there who are interested in this movie. It's not just us, mm -hmm. and we've got to continue to go find them wherever they are in the world. Yeah. yeah. I have a feeling you'll be able to go find them pretty pretty <laughs> easily after this. Congratulations Thank to you all Thank you. on your first trip to Slandance, your first trip to Park City, and now you have a lovely memento to take with you to inspire you guys to keep going. Thanks so much. Great. Thank, Thank you so very much. much for having Thank you. Us. The film is called Dim the Fluorescence. We are going to take a quick break and be back with more live Slamdance coverage right here on Park City Television.